Now on this channel, I have been showing you videos around how you can make things smart using Home Assistant. But now what about the case wherein you want to access Home Assistant when you are away from home and you don't have access to your home network. So today we will be looking at how we can set up this tail scale service such that you can access Home Assistant completely privately and securely over the internet without having Home Assistant being publicly available on the internet. Along with this, we will look at how you can access Home Assistant with the name of the device rather than fiddling with the IP addresses. And finally, I have a small little surprise for you. So with this, let's get started. Now to begin with, we are going to install the Tailscale add-on. So for this, we are going to go to settings here and then go to this add-on section. And then in this add-on store here, we're going to search for tail scale. Now with this, I'm going to now install this add-on. So now the installation is all complete. What we have to do is we have to start this add-on now. So it has quickly started. And what we are going to do is we are going to go into the log section. So now in your log section, you will get this URL to authenticate. So that means you have to now copy this URL and then paste it in your browser here. Now it will ask you to create an account with Tailscale. So let me actually create an account right now. So right now I have created an account and we are now redirected to this location. So now what I'm going to do, let me actually first of all look at the device details that are there. So when I open this, you get to see the host name that is there right now. As well as it's telling me the operating system that is HasOS Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now click on connect. And with this, your login is all done successfully right now. What you have to do now is go back to Home Assistant and just refresh this log server here. So now if you see, this has successfully started right now. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to figure out at which IP address we can access this Home Assistant, right? So for this, let's go back to Tailscale here. So now here, since it's a completely new account that I created, it's asking me for a few details here. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the introduction and then go into this machine section. And here, if I scroll down, you will get to see this machine that has been connected. So now we already have a mesh network using the tail scale VPN that we have. And with this, now you can access your device. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to use this IP address and I'm going to now connect it using my phone. So, so now I'm using an Android phone right now. You can do the same thing in an iOS phone also, wherein you will have to go to your app store and then install this tail scale app. So I'm going to install this right now and let this get installed. Next, let's open this app now. And then we have tail scale here. So now here I'm going to actually sign into my account. So now after signing in, it will ask you that this app needs permissions to create a VPN connection. So I'm going to allow this setting. So if you see right now in my devices, I can see my home assistant device right now, as well as the IP that has been assigned to my home assistant in this virtual network. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And the next thing I'm going to do is disable my Wi-Fi and put on my data. So I have turned on my mobile data right now, such that I'm accessing this now from the internet right now. So let me now open a browser and now I'm going to paste that IP address and I'm going to put 8123. So if you see, I'm accessing my home assistant right now over the internet using this VPN. Now also make sure that this is on. So that means your tail scale is on. If I turn it off from here, the VPN connection stops. You have to make sure that this is active here. So right now, since I installed it and opened it for the first time, it automatically made this VPN active. So now this is active and you can access this via now the IP address. So now let me actually log in and there we go. So we have finally our home assistant being accessed over the internet using tail scale VPN. Now using this mechanism, you can access your home assistant from anywhere on the internet using the tail scale VPN. Now you can install this on your laptop as well as any of your phones and then access home assistant over the internet. 
Now here I showed you how you can access it via the IP address, right? And we want to see how we can access this using just the host name itself. So now let's look into how you can do that. So now for this, what you have to do is you have to scroll up here and go into your DNS settings. So now in your DNS settings here, you will have to scroll down and enable magic DNS. So now here, if you see this magic DNS is already enabled. If I click on it, it will disable it. So now with this settings being done, I can now access home assistant using the machine name itself. So let me go back here and my machine name is right now home assistant itself. So let me access this on my phone. Now in my phone, I'm going to now type in home assistant instead of the IP address. So home assistant and colon 8123 and let's press enter here. So now here I'm actually able to access my home assistant instance using the machine name from my Tailscale network itself. So let me actually now log in here and there we go. I'm actually able to now log in to my home assistant instance. So with this, I'm actually able to access home assistant on my own over the internet using this Tailscale network. So now actually what I wanted to show you was where I'm actually running the home assistant instance. So let me go back to settings here and then I'm going to go to systems and let me show you that I'm running home assistant on the Raspberry Pi 5. Yes, home assistant will now start working on the Raspberry Pi 5 soon. So I'm right now running the first release candidate that is the RC version. And with this, we will now soon be able to run home assistant on the Raspberry Pi 5. Now, if you have been following me on Twitter, then you must have already seen my posts wherein I have shown you that the Zigbee devices, the Bluetooth devices are all working right now with Home Assistant OS on the Raspberry Pi 5. So within a few days, I'm assuming that we should have the Home Assistant OS available as a release version for the Raspberry Pi 5. So you can also follow me on Twitter wherein I will post the updates over there also. Now, personally, I use this mechanism to access Home Assistant whenever I'm outside my local network itself. Now, in order to get notifications, what I do is I make use of Telegram to send me all notifications by Home Assistant. And in case if I want to look into my Home Assistant instance, and then I turn on the Tailscale network and then look at the various information that I want to look at. So this is my typical workflow. This is a much, much secure mechanism to actually access your home assistant rather than having this exposed completely to the internet using a domain name and then susceptible to attackers from the internet. So this is the workflow that I use and I like it and it works really reliable. So now if you want to see how I send notifications from home assistant using Telegram, then there's a video linked somewhere here wherein I have shown you how you can send notifications from Home Assistant using Telegram. So using this Telegram bot, then I sent notifications from Home Assistant to Telegram. And then if I want to look into Home Assistant itself, then I turn on this tail scale network to look into Home Assistant. With this, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. If you want to support this channel, there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via Patreon. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.